Hey there, this is Game Lord Game. I'm Poob. Welcome back. Well, I'm back. Anyway, maybe. Maybe for a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, I had some spare time all of a sudden. So I figured, since I got Warhammer in the, uh, what was it, the second last monthly Humble Bundle? Is that right? Yeah, the Humble Bundle monthly thing? Yeah, I, I just discovered like the blood and uh, blood and gore thing, and it's so much fun to just try out crazy monsters uh, fighting things that basically can't really put up too much of a fight. So anyway, here we got the vampire counts, and we've got some Karn wraiths. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. We've got some cryptors, and we got some vargeists. Cryptors, I love. They're 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 so cool. Basically like zombie ogres. I don't know if you've played this. I've barely, I haven't played a lot of this. Like, um, this is a lot of what I've been doing. Is just turning it on and uh, having fun with the custom battles. Just because like I love the stuff that's in Warhammer, but like, I don't know. Total War uh, is not something I've really been into or anything. So I'm not too worried about like legitimately playing the game. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, bring it back in when we get this battle started. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at some of these guys before we get started. Oh, look at these guys. I love these guys. Okay, what is this? Is it K? Yeah, K turns off my uh, user interface. Oh, man, just like, look at these guys. They are absolutely terrifying. And there's actually pretty good variation between units in this, too. Like, look, even this guy's crazy, sticky, outy spine is quite a bit different from this guy's crazy, sticky, outy spine. However, these two guys are almost identical. They may still not be, though. I don't know, this guy might have a hairier ass than that guy, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go check out some of the other units here. These are, what were they, Cairn Wraiths? I don't think I've actually seen these things in action, so this should be pretty interesting to see them do their thing. And then, up here, I believe these are the Vargeists. I think that's the only other unit. Uh, they're a little hard to get a good bead on what they look like exactly, but there they are. Um, they kind of look like Blanca grew wings, you know? Um, and then finally we have our uh, Vampire Lord here. The only part I don't like about this is that I have to have uh, a Lord on either side, because I really just want to, uh, you know, fight the, the baddies against, like, the, the peasants. If there's a mod that lets you do that, go ahead, go ahead and let me know, because uh, I'd like to know. Okay. Maybe I'll actually take a look for it um, soon. Anyway, we're just going to tell all these guys to come up here and line up, because we're not going to do anything complicated at all here. We're just going to cruise on over there and then get into a battle. Uh, it's going to be a long walk, so I'll bring you back in a second. Actually, it looks like uh, the unit of trebuchets back there is going to take a, a few minutes to fire on us here, so I guess maybe we won't just sit back for now. Okay, let's uh let's send those the Cairn rates in. Okay, guys, go uh, go kill them. Cryptors cross over and kill that guy, and then the bar guys. Let's send them back to kill off those trebuchets, and then we'll engage the enemy hero with our own hero. Uh, although it looks like he's about to get tied up inside these peasants. All right, now let's go watch some of the nightmarish action. Holy, that man just exploded. Okay, so I've got the Blood and Gore DLC, but I also downloaded a, a mod that I don't see before. Wow, they broke really quick. Turns out you only gotta explode a few guys before uh, people start to run. I don't know what that effect on them is, but uh, I assume that's the enemy hero pulling some kind of crazy tricks. Yeah, it looks like our hero is tied up back there, but no big deal. Let's just take a look at this. Whoa! Oh, that guy got uh, thrown away. It looks like most of those guys lived. Something tells me that guy who turned into blood fireworks did not live, though. I saw that guy's skirt for a second, but I didn't like it. Well, let's look at our bar guys. What are they up to? Did they ever get over there? Looks like they're busy back here ripping uh, some people apart. That guy's upper half exploded. That's fun. Okay, um, I think those trebuchets are essentially disabled now, so let's bring these guys in. Okay, and let me just turn this on for a sec. We also got slow motion, and we're gonna we're gonna enjoy some of that for a second. Uh, watching crypt horrors run after peasants through the woods is the, sh the shit that nightmares are, is made out of. 
Um, yeah, like these guys, they're bones, so let's chase them. And that should be entertaining. Okay, Vargas, I want you to come over here. And then our Crypt Horrors, um, I want them to back up our hero wherever he is. So let's see if we can find him. Uh, is that the enemy hero right there? Maybe? It is. So we're going to stay engaged there. And where's our hero? He's way the fuck over there. Let's get him in on this fight. And now, let's go uh, figure out what's going on here. Did I actually make the Crypt Horrors engage him? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, you guys, kill him. Crypt Horrors, you have your own job to do. Go destroy the hell out of those guys, please. Okay, now let's figure out where the action's at here. Sorry, I had a little bit of micromanaging to do there for a second, but maybe I need to speed this back up while people move into place. Oh, never mind. The Vargas are already over here doing their job. Look at that. That is just man meat, just flying all over the place. This guy is like, fuck this shit. I got some sledgehammer to do somewhere that's not filled with giant murderous bats. The only thing that sucks, oh man, is there's not, look at that blood chunk. There's not uh, slow-mo sound effects, so you know what? I think I want to watch this in regular speed because, oh, that looks so fast now. Look at this shit. It's so cool. Man, does that ever feel like it's moving fast to me now? Look at this. Oh my god, they're just so destructive. They can't escape, and if they got anywhere near to going uh, a good distance ahead of them, they could just fly and catch up, so... Oh my god, look at this, look at this! Oh, what's he gonna do? Are they gonna actually, like, swoop down on them? Oh, holy shit, look at that! Oh my god, this group of people is just shredded to pieces. Look how far away they've been... They've been thrown. Victory. Yeah, that doesn't matter to me. You know? Um, I'm gonna ignore that victory screen, and we're gonna. Here's where the real murder begins. Um, where are my crypt horrors at? Are they over here? Oh, yeah, okay. Here's. This is the shit right here. Like, look at this. This is where I like to put it on slow mo. Okay, let's, let's put it on slow mo. And now, like, it's pretty fun to be down on, like, ground level. It's like, look at these guys. They're like, fuck this, we're getting out of here. Look, these guys are already pretty beaten and battered. Like, that guy's probably missing an eye and a couple of fingers or something. And now, like, look at this. Boom! That guy just met, like, he just got past that tree. Look at that! Boom! He, he just chopped the upper half off of two of those guys. It knocked down another guy. The, a man just exploded in the background. Oh, he just got annihilated. Oh wait, never mind, I think it just chopped his arm off. I mean, it's a pretty bad injury, but I think it did just chop his arm off. Sooner or later, we're going to hit the maximum amount of time, and it'll let me go over uh, the victory screen. So, But yeah, I love this shit. It looks so... Like, it's so epic. It's so terrifying looking. Like, imagine you're this guy who's got this fucking pitchfork. As you're running away, a bloody piece of your, of your friend just, like, flies over your shoulders. You know, you glance back, and there's this fucking massive creature just right behind you. Look at this guy. He's gonna make it. Like, he, his plan is to get the fuck out. Although, I don't know. This might not go so well for him. Alright, best of luck, guys. Let's go check out what's happening on uh, the other places here. I'm gonna have to turn my HUD bag on so I can find people. Alright, we got the Karen Wraiths chasing people down. Now, these guys I haven't seen. Um, we'll watch a little bit slow-mo and then I'll turn it back into full speed. I don't know. Hopefully this is entertaining for you. I love doing this. I spent like three hours the other day just like running battles against uh, different types of units and just watching this go down. Like I really don't care if I'm winning. I'm just, these are just custom battles. So that guy's head just like popped off his shoulders. These things are... Uh, man, oh look at it. He's going up for a, sh a shot. Oh man, did he just chop the legs off all those guys? They're not getting up. So holy shit, man. These things just... They're they're so efficient. They only they only have to strike once. Look at this. Let's just keep up with them here. Get away! I don't think they're gonna be listening to you. Holy! And like, God knows if it, you know, like we can see the cryptors, but fuck knows they might be like technically mostly invisible, right? So you're just running along and people's limbs are fucking popping off, like. Holy, some of these blood splatters are just horrific. 
These guys attack so quickly, I barely ever even, uh, I don't even see them swing most of the time. It's just another guy gets ripped in half. Look at that, that looks so cool when they go up. Man, these guys are at least as bad as the uh, Crypt Horrors, if not worse. I feel like, yeah, that guy just like touched him and he his head popped off. Like, look, do, is, are they, do they even swing? Maybe they do, it's just... Maybe it's ones that are farther away that are actually doing the killing and I don't realize. Alright, uh, I think pretty well everything is dead here. Uh, these guys are still chasing some of the last bits and pieces. <laughs> Holy hell, look, there's five of them. Are they going to get out? Yeah, I think they just hit the edge of the map, maybe. Wow. Well done, gentlemen. Five of them survived. Um, probably not a whole lot uh, else. Anyway, let's end battle. We'll take a look at the casualties real quick. Uh, okay, I thought I might have just... Okay, so they deployed 634. They lost 401. Jeez, actually, 200 survivors ain't too bad out of that. Uh, looks like our Cairn race killed 174. So they were definitely the most efficient killers amongst them. Uh, the Crypt Horrors... The Crypt Horrors where we took all our losses by the looks of things. So, yeah, and, and the Vargas didn't even become injured at all. We had a couple of uh, peasant mobs that were sensible enough to peace out before everybody died. Alright, there we go. I think that's going to do it for this one. I don't know, I might, I might do a little more of this. We'll uh, check out some different maps and just, you know, basically watch people get ripped apart in uh, whatever whatever different speed we might want to watch it in but yeah I don't know maybe I'm just sick but I really enjoy this like being able to pit uh, like different units against each other against like these awesome creatures from uh, Warhammer I really enjoy it like I didn't have this game until uh, the start of uh, April so it's it's still no wait no wait that was th that was the witness I've had this for a little while now I guess but I just really got into it the other day and I figured I would I, I, wanted, I wanted to share a little bit of it uh, on my channel so yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Have yourselves a good one. This game horror game. I'm Poob. Later on.